Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video where I share my Ramadan routine. Ramadan Mubarak to everybody who is celebrating. I hope it's going really well for you. I hope you're not finding it too difficult and inshallah you're benefiting from this blessed month. So this was recorded on Friday the first Juma of Ramadan. And it's typically what my days have been looking like during Ramadan this year, even though it's only been a few days. So my day in Ramadan looks pretty much like my normal days, apart from the fact that I'm not eating. <laughs> so I don't know why that's funny, but clearly I find it very funny. So after the school run, I was sorting out breakfast for the younger kids because the younger ones are not fasting. And then we try and fit in an outing or a bit of shopping just to take the kids out and pick up anything that we might need. On this day I went to Poundland because I needed a glass serving bowl which I did manage to get. So I was going to make this jelly for the kids, it's really simple to make and I've made it for a few years now. I basically just layer the different colours of jelly into traffic light colours. So at the bottom you've got green, then orange and red. And the way you make it is you put one colour, allow it to set. Once that's set, add the next colour, like prepare the jelly how you would. Add the next layer of jelly and then add the final layer of jelly. So you just allow each layer of jelly to set before adding the next one. The kids really enjoy this, they get really excited, mashallah, even the older kids. So after a hard day of fasting, they definitely deserve it. So when I'm doing my chores, I like to watch beneficial reminders or listen to useful or Islamic podcasts. If you want to see what I'm getting up to day to day, I'm actually trying to upload daily on my vlog channel. I'll link it in the description. For dinner we had KFC, they had these box meal deals for $3.99, what a bargain guys. Masha, it was nice and then it was time for the jelly. So later that night I decided to prepare some food for Suhoor and I was going to make this banana loaf. I had some leftover bananas, the kids don't finish their bananas half the time. So I'll put them away in the fridge and I thought I'm not going to throw them away. So I cut off the rotten bits and then uh, sliced the rest of them. And then to a large mixing bowl, I just added all of the ingredients. I tried to add as many nutritious things as I could. I had this fruit and nut mix, porridge oats, chia seeds, anything that would be nice and filling and healthy for suhoor. And then I just mixed it all with the hand blender. And it was really satisfying hearing the chopping sounds of the nuts. Thank you. 
I'd forgotten to add some cinnamon. Once the mixture was really well mixed and chopped up into tiny pieces, all the nuts and stuff, I transferred it to two loaf tins, baked them for about 30 minutes and they looked and smelled beautiful, mashallah. We had them for suhoor um, a couple of hours later. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Ramadan till I see you. Take care, salam, bye.